Hey guys, I made a couple of errors in my last video on the Dark Hearts mod for Skyrim Special Edition, and I'd like to clear these up. Although I scored the mod well, I complained about the minions in the mod being too fragile. I now know that this was due to two factors. Firstly, I had not marked the frails. Secondly, I had not given the frails any equipment. The Dark Hearts mod has a mechanic in it which lets you buff some of your minions in a variety of ways. For example, giving them regeneration, or extra armor, or immunities to damage, etc. The reason this is important is because without being marked, the minions will not regenerate any health. This gave me the impression that some minions were weaker than they actually were. My powerful keeper didn't die because he was overly fragile, but instead because he was not regenerating any health and was running around with low hit points, never being able to fully recover from past battles. The second factor is the equipment. I've been informed in the comments on the last video that you're supposed to provide minions with equipment and they will wear it. If you provide the minions of high tier equipment, especially enchanted equipment, they will equip it and use it, which makes them a lot stronger. So to cut a long story short, simply summoning the minions and expecting them to do well isn't enough. They should also be outfitted with equipment and buffed using the marking system. If you're wondering why I overlooked these features, it's because I didn't bother to read the mod page in its entirety. This sounds bad, I know, but here's my reasoning. I skimmed the mod page to understand the basics, then I dived headfirst into the mod intentionally unaware of many things. I did this because I find it important to gauge how intuitive a mod is from a place of limited understanding. A well-designed system will be somewhat intuitive, and I won't need to resort to reading a lot of stuff in order to get stuff to work. A bad system will be unintuitive, and I'll find myself getting frustrated and f meeting a lot of roadblocks. The Dark Hearts is, for the most part, intuitive enough. I wasn't completely stuck at any point in time, but there were certainly important features I'd missed, which gave me a wrong impression. My mistake is that after doing my tests, I did not return and read the mod page completely. If I had, I'd have noticed the marking system and connected the dots to realize that this is why my minions were so fragile. I figured I wasn't covering every feature in the mod anyway, so I didn't have to read it. It was wrong of me to skip this step, and I'm sorry for that. I was in a rush to get the video out, and despite knowing full well that rushing things is never good, I did it anyway. Don't rush stuff, guys. It never ends well. With all this in mind, I'm adjusting my score for the Dark Arts mod, the minions are not as fragile as I first thought, once you factor in both the marking and equipment features. I've raised the useful minion score from a 6 out of 10 to a 9 out of 10, which bumps it up to a total score of 8.4 out of 10. The only thing left preventing me from giving it a higher score now is the plentiful minions category, which I still consider to be appropriately scored when compared with the other mods that impose no limit whatsoever. Thanks for watching, this will be the last video of 2019. I wish you all a happy new year. Stay tuned for more necromancy videos in the future.